Hi, this is Barb, and uh, I'm back again with you. Glad you're still with us. And we want to talk a little bit about spiritual warfare. Now, there's the high-level spiritual warfare that Jesus went through with Satan. Remember when he went out in the desert and he tempted him and he responded with the word, man, that is warfare, right? Unlikely that we'll ever have that kind of warfare quite in those terms and quite to that extent. But the truth is that we're in a battle as soon as we become a believer, right? If you were told that it was going to be all sweetness and everything will change, I don't think so. The enemy is perfectly happy with you sitting quietly in a church, but when you begin to battle and understand your authority, uh, things go to a different pitch. What we know from the Word, from Ephesians 6, is that we're not wrestling with flesh and blood, right? We're wrestling with principalities and powers of darkness. We know that Satan came to steal, kill, and destroy. We know that Jesus came, on the other hand, to give us life. Another verse that uh, is in 2 Corinthians says that the weapons that we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. And I want to, uh, to tell you the definition of a stronghold that I think is super powerful. It's Ed Solvoso's. It says that a stronghold is anything which is contrary to the word of God which you think is impossible to change. Anything which is contrary to the word which you don't think can ever be changed, that's a stronghold. That's a stronghold individually, it could be a stronghold in your church, it could be a stronghold in the nation. And how do we bring those strongholds down? Our weapons are the word, our weapons are believing the truth about the situation instead of the lies that Satan places with it. This is a ongoing battle, not a one-time skirmish, right? But the beautiful part of it is that as you fight the battle, the word gets deeper and deeper in you, and you understand that there is no battle that can't be won. No battle that can't be won. Because the king is fighting with us. We're fighting in partnership with him, and he's doing the hard work, and we're standing firm and doing the things that we need to do to win this battle against the enemy's plan. So much of it is in your thought life. So much of it is in the lies that we believe the thing can never be changed. Those are the strongholds that I encourage you to go after, to read more about this kind of stronghold, to read more about your thought life, to understand the word thoroughly so that you believe who you are, lines up with the Word of God, you believe the power and the authority He's given you to bring down those strongholds. They're key to kingdom living. We bless you with seeing every one of them demolished in your life.